Hey, welcome back to another episode of It Resolves. My name is Kevin. This is the craziest I've ever seen you. My name is Will. Thank you for tuning in, watching or listening, doing it however you're doing it, where you're doing it. And as always, this show is brought to you by you, the patrons. Thank you for all your support, all that you do, to let us do what we do. Yeah. Talks the magic and... You know, that's well. Do the things. That's pretty much it. Uh, no, we really do appreciate you guys, and we do, of course, have our commemorative way of thanking you. I don't know how to phrase that correctly, but <sighs> Get ready. Uh, we do have a few of you to thank. Uh, so we'll Get we'll do ready. this. Are you ready? You oh, ready? I'm so ready. All right. The first one. I'm reading the whole name for this one just because it's amazing. Than <laughs> Thanos Sepaku. The audacious. <laughs> Uh, Julio. The bold. Taylor. The brazen. Mikey. The combative. That's not good. Logan. The forward. <laughs> Anthony. The fresh. And Sasha. The in... Mm, nope. Wait. <laughs> the sassy. The there we go. Sassy So there are a Sasha. lot more antonyms for saucy than there oh, are synonyms. Yeah. I've got like impudent. <laughs> insolent none of none of these are good those are positive what did i say uh combative not good uh the other one was <laughs> i've not even seen this contemptuous oh, i thought you were just gonna end at the first syllable i was like oh contumulous whatever look anyway it's a, it's a weird word it is uh but guys <clears throat> thank you so much seriously uh without you guys we couldn't be doing all the things we're doing so we um, greatly appreciate your support. we really do y'all are awesome honestly because of you guys we're able to do a lot cooler stuff and open up cooler stuff and all that jazz so, oh yes uh it's actually really exciting and we certainly do appreciate it uh if you haven't checked out our website i'm gonna plug that really quick uh you should definitely check our website we just added <laughs> you burnt your tongue again didn't uh -huh, you i did um, we just added a whole new uh, proxy gallery page for Ooh. the lands that we made. Oh. Uh, very, very excited about that. Uh, we have the shock lands and the original dual lands up. Uh, I posted the dual lands and did not say anything about it anywhere. No, so, you didn't even tell me. <laughs> I, no, I didn't. I'm finding out as you they're, found out. They're up there. Fantastic. Uh, yeah. I know. I love it. That's great. Uh, and you and I actually have to talk about that. I forgot to tell you. Um, but we got to figure some stuff out. So. Wink, wink. All right, um, take him down. Take him down. No, uh, no we would, but we'll uh, we, I posted an article basically saying that we'd like to find a way to get those out to everybody, and we should. Yeah. And we've talked about ways to do that before, but They're we just need neat. to figure They're something out. Um, yep. But that's out there. We also have a Throne uh, of Eldraine bundle giveaway going on right now. Oh, exciting. Uh, if you are interested, there's only a few more days, actually. Yep. I guess next week, uh, mm -hmm. Monday or something like that, or Saturday. I don't remember. Christmas in November. It's coming up. Uh, so you better uh, you better subscribe and comment on a thing with hashtag throne giveaway. It can be any video, uh, but as long as you're subscribed, yeah. you are eligible to enter. Uh, so do that, and you will be entered to win a free Throne of Eldraine. Yeah, bundle. start pulling your busted um, cards, yeah. guys, boys and do girls. It. Do it, do it, do it. Although uh, I guess Veil of Summer isn't from Throne, is it? It's from something else. It's uh, core yeah. something. Um, core. Anyway, yep. we are going to talk about Pioneer Oko. Mono yeah, green ready. being all amazing. That's all but the relevant stuff, so yeah. we'll, we'll get into that. We, uh, <clears throat> we first start off with our random card of the day in three, two, one. Who is that? What? Oh, I know this card. Uh, a Dark Arse Sentinel uh, is three of any... Oh, is it three or five? Am I reading it wrong? It's five. Uh, five of any <laughs> it got color. got a lot worse. Yeah, it did get a lot worse. <laughs> uh, it's five of any color uh, for a 3-3 three, three artifact creature, and you can pay one. And give it plus zero, plus one until the end of the turn. And this was printed in Ice Age. That makes a lot of sense. Is it an uncommon? Uh, do, do, do. Yep. <laughs> that feels Let bad. me just point something out. Creatures sucked butt during this time in the game. I do want to point uh, that out. Yeah. yeah so the only saving grace about a card like this. You can play it in any you deck. You can play it in I any deck. You'd say that. <laughs> That's the you only say good that. thing about this um, card. And I would never draft that um that's not true okay so stay open you know <laughs> like <laughs> it's real bad there's no okay in oh shit oh, uh God. okay in today's limited like if you yeah. were to take a dark incentral yeah and put him into in throne of eldraine limited yeah like is he good no god no correct um <laughs> absolutely not they're <laughs> cards like this are 
just kind of fossils now. Oh know? yeah, like the bad oh, creatures. Yeah. <laughs> you, they're just so outdated. Yeah, and you can attribute that to a lot of things. Power creep, I guess. Would but, be yeah, like I mean that's one, like the general term for it all. Speed but, yeah. of the game, you know, yeah. it's a lot faster these days. Um, and it's, it's just not. Good, all right, man. I'm gonna present a scenario to you. All right, are you ready for this? Yeah, I do like that. It's you pay one to plus some stuff. Hate that yeah. it's only toughness. I'd rather toughness, it be power. But, okay, but here's my thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All okay. right. Okay, 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 okay. You're playing in commander. Nope. No, just trust me. Okay. This is gonna be. This will be worth it if anybody pulls this off. All right. All right. You find. You play commander. I know what you're about to say. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> you. <laughs> yeah. You already know. Uh, you find a way first. Yeah. To generate infinite mana. Okay. Are you in so far? There are plenty of ways to do that. You had me at infinite mana. Yeah, keep, keep there are going. plenty of ways to I do know that. What you're That's about totally to say. fine. Yes, keep going. Okay. Then you yeah. play high alert or that elder dragon that makes them deal damage equal to their toughness, not their power. That is not where I thought this was going. Continue. <laughs> okay. So you use your infinite mana mm-hmm. to pump the toughness up. Okay. And then swing in for the win based on high alert or whatever. Um here's a better scenario <laughs> yeah you're tell playing me a, a phoenix deck <laughs> oh i see you just <laughs> mill them in one shot correct <laughs> that is so correct. much more like me to say that uh, yeah i didn't think you'd rely on a combat step to beat someone kev no yeah, well. you didn't go with mill times are a changing yeah i don't like it no i don't either fuck it i'm back all right <laughs> i'm a scumbag again <laughs> you're right i'll never change uh, jace's phantasm <laughs> hey is that i play a little standard now it's the gargoyle sorry yeah. gargoyle and that um, fucking merfolk kid what's what's she do keeper million four million four all nah, right uh anyway we'll never keep that secret it all comes out in therapy <laughs> i got abused for friday night magic <laughs> Show me in the library where Kevin touched you. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Fuck this. All right. Oh, man. Guys, this is going to be a good episode. Hang oh, on to God. something and then point it out to your therapist. All right. So what are we I talking res- about I today? I Pioneer it. and shit. And uh, yeah. <laughs> Pioneer, standard, all the things. I guess let's start with Pioneer and the ban list, uh, of which has now been updated twice since our last episode. Yeah. Um, which could, is interesting. Could be updated again before this goes up. We have 100%. one day. Well, technically, didn't they say it's supposed to be like every other Monday is when they're supposed to release banned announcements for, or something like that? I don't think or it every Monday. Been... I don't think it had been a week between, though, because I think they banned. Yeah, it they was. Not... It was super late Monday, like a week ago when we were, we were recording this. Um, and then the other one was released like an hour before we recorded this. Hmm. Um, but regardless, there are now four oh. other cards banned in Pioneer, uh, aside from the origi- or the fetch lands and cons. Um, right. So, Felidar Guardian. Yep. Goodbye, Kitty. Taking out copycat combo. Perfectly happy with that. Uh, yeah. No complaints. Um, not a whole lot to talk about there. Copycat combo. I actually have well, um, I... MTG Top 8 yeah. pulled up. Um, just to look at overarching deck percentages. Not trying to get super detailed with this. But uh, since Pioneer has started, mm-hmm. uh, it was making up about 13% of the meta. <laughs> Uh, which is a pretty substantial amount. Well, yeah, you take into consideration that over 130 <coughs> decks were yeah. given to various like magic media. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Top yeah. eight being one, goldfish <laughs> being another. Yeah. Um, there was a bunch more. Mm-hmm. Well, not a bunch more, but they were more played on Magic Online. Have yeah. m- there have been more since? Uh, 13% of a very big pool yeah. is a large number. That is a very large you know? number. Um, you also talk about the variety of builds that the cat combo can have. Yeah, uh, you can go to four color cat combo. Um, yeah, America cat Which I combo. Think four color was the most popular. Mm-hmm. I know it was in standard, and I do believe it was this mm-hmm. time around as yeah. well. Yeah, there's uh, you know, there's pros and cons to being in a few different ones. Four color being the most common. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's a, I mean, it's a pretty strong strategy. It's really, apart from what we'll talk about in a second, one mm-hmm. of the few decks that, uh, once it assembles everything it needs will basically automatically win. Yeah, like there's well, not an auto win. I mean, right, 100%. there's not a ton of like, <clears throat> you can't really play around it. Yeah. If you can't. Well, and what I mean is like, if you, if your deck is not tooled to deal with yeah, it, if you don't have any sweepers, if you don't yeah. have uh bounce effects for mm-hmm. your, for their cats, um, or can't kill Sahili, 
instantly. Right. You know, you're, you're, you're done. Di- yeah. I mean, that's it. you will, there's inevitability built in. Definitely, um, definitely. and that, that was the tough part with it. Uh, it just made, I mean, it's, the the deck that everybody at least i compare it to and i know a number of other people have is the splinter twin yep. deck of modern yeah um and it makes sense it's you know infinite creature combo i get it uh and that was banned for a very good reason as well yep. and that it was taking over it's just mm-hmm. it is that inevitable win mm-hmm. uh and so as will said if you're not told to deal with it it was i mean you're yeah. gonna lose just so it. just beat uh it. very happy to see that one go uh along yeah. with uh Philidar guardian uh, and the first band announcement, uh, we did also get Leyline of Anticip... It was an anticipation? Abundance. Abundance, thank Abundance, you. Yeah. Uh, and then um, uh, Oath of Nyssa. That's right. Thank you. Yeah. Um, that's what I'm here both, for. <laughs> it's not, both, but that's fine. <laughs> both uh, very, very strong cards yeah. in Mono Green Devotion. Yeah. So the deck that, in my opinion, was pretty much the best deck in pioneer oh um uh, yeah (laughs) it is it's not unplayable now i want to say it's actually very good Um, i would say still it's like it's fair now is what i'll say yes um before mono green like it pretty much beat most of its matchups it had had insane starts it had some on average i think it was like I'm trying to remember how many five O's it had in a bunch of leagues. Um, I think it oh, had yeah. 40 five O's, <laughs> whereas it's more common for a deck to have like 14 or something. Yeah. In terms of like percentages. Yeah. yeah. Um, and speaking and of percentages, again, looking at deck lists, it was by far the most played deck list yeah. uh, sitting at 16% of Makes the meta. Sense. Makes um, sense. It's great. And uh, it is still being played mm-hmm. without those two cards. Yeah. I just want to point out that uh, there are a number of decks that are, still out there that are you know mono green devotion mm-hmm. devotion focused it still has a lot of the tools it needs it just doesn't get them online as early as it used to if that yes. makes sense like nykthos is a really big mm-hmm. advocate for this deck mm-hmm. but it's not turned on on turn zero because you don't have ley line mm-hmm. you know what i mean yeah that was kind of nuts i think yeah well the deck now has to kind of like change itself a little bit um, right there are there were really two directions i thought that modern green could go it could be a more pure devotion route which mm. is really creature focused sure uh with a few solid removal spells and stuff to deal with threats so your top end gets to be stuff like uh wicked wolf um polychronos yeah um galta even yeah. stuff like that yeah, yeah. a lot of creature stuff whereas what i think would have been the better deck not saying you don't even play polychronos in this mm. version mm-hmm. but i think a better option would be um the what is it stone coil serpent from um from a uh, throne the yeah pro, the, mu- pro multicolored yeah, the guy the x spell yeah that yeah. and obviously walking ballista yeah um ballista being good it's just anywhere such a good card. yeah it's i mean if you resolve a ballista after generating a just a cubic ass load of mana <laughs> uh <laughs> that's terrifying <laughs> no you're exactly right well and there's like heart and scales decks running around that mm-hmm. love like ballista hangerback walker the yeah. serpent i mean anything with one one counters that deck loves and it's very Definitely. solid i would Definitely. say um heart and scales is a really interesting card uh one that i'd like to investigate a little bit more i think it's i think it's fine i'm, it's gonna, I'm fine. gonna be honest it's fine uh i don't i think it's not super strong in pioneer i think because there are two versions there's a mono green and then there's the the like golgari mm. where it plays the winding constrictor winding constrictor and like grim player or uh, just i think it might just be the winding constrictor but that's that's the big what card they play, play black jack for. menace uh um, the double your one one counters once one one counters are put on because that's what i would play i mean as that well. seems good it's just and that's the thing is it's a four four for four two colorless a black yeah. and green so it's a little it's a little slower it's tough to cast yeah, yeah. um but I, I mean, the winding constrictor is basically an extra hardened scales, and so it's just like mm-hmm. tons of extra. You know what I mean? Like cheaper. Yeah. Add one one counter. Menace might just be too cute. But yeah, exactly. Um, but it, but regardless, it literally doubles them though. Which oh is no, I know. Up. It's like it's. I think it's a question of is it a win more card at that point, if that makes sense. Yeah. Like, because I mean, it does pretty yeah. well without it. So it's like, mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, what's fun is probably like Jund heroic. With Corpse yeah. Jack Menace, a yeah, bunch yeah. of your like red pump spells, like Titan mm-hmm. Strength, Madcap, what is it? Madcap something? Madcap skills? But that's a chain yeah. creature. Well, it still counts Does it for still a count? trigger. Yeah. Oh it's, duh. It's yeah, if it's not creature if it's spell. targeted. Yep. So um, you give yeah. all your 
your green heroic boys and fabled hero too, but that's white, so it doesn't work. Well, anyway, um, now I'm just. <laughs> let me get off this. We're uh, getting there. Off um, <laughs> anyway, my point is, uh, mono green had a lot of different ways to go. Yeah. But <clears throat> both of those uh, strategies were lubricated very well with Ayo. leyline of abundance. Um, God, it's so broken. Oh it's my so God! Broken. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, <clears throat> You don't even you don't even need its activated ability to bust it. No. Right? I mean generating but, you know, just in case it has one. Right. So like, <laughs> right. In case you, like, in case it yeah. wasn't good enough. After already. you curb stumped your opponent if you wanted <laughs> yeah. to like stab him a little bit. There you go. Sp- talking about win more. Right. <laughs> definitely. Definitely. Uh it's nuts. Um, yeah, it was stupid good. <laughs> so I'm I'm not sad to see it. I'm sad I didn't get to like play it. Yeah, but, it happened real quick. <laughs> but I mean, it makes sense. It's yeah, great. No, it That's, makes it yeah. makes a lot of sense. Um, For sure. Oath of Nissa, we talked about a little bit as well before mm-hmm. this, and like it does make sense that it was banned. Mm-hmm. Uh, mostly for the devotion side of things because it really enabled that, devotion, and it enabled the planeswalker stuff yeah, yeah, that yeah. you had talked about. Definitely devotion, um, and you can start siding in some unfair stuff with oath. Right. Um, right. They, I mean, normally. It's not a great idea to slide in off color stuff, but Oath made it possible to cast, you know, to cast yeah. any kind of planeswalker. No, absolutely. Um, it allowed for the poten- and we didn't see a ton of this, but it allowed for the potential to break a few decks um, yeah. to play stuff like Teferi in Mono Green if you want. Yeah, exactly. Against the control. Yeah, which is oh, ugh, gross, dirty. <laughs> uh, so I'm not I'm not upset to see Oath go. There are a few decks. There was a uh, Kalidus combo deck. Oh, that some people played that okay. isn't going to be like as good now without yeah, Oath. Yeah. Um, it was probably our best, hmm, one of our best cantrips in the format. Okay. Um, yeah, I would agree with that. So it kind of, I mean, it, it stinks, but I understand. Again, it makes I, it's sense. A, it's a lot of power. Like, yeah, it is know? a lot of power. Not um, only that, but it's also, it also counts for legendaries. Any decks that care about, like a lot of yeah. decks get to play this. Yeah, that's you know? true. That's so, very true. That's um, tricky. Yeah, it is. Uh, it's a, I think a little bit, a slightly more interesting call. Mm-hmm. Uh, I do still agree with it, but um, I, I was a little like, it, I, I was taken aback when I saw that. Versus, yeah, you know what I mean? Too. Like, it's mm-hmm. it's not like when you stop to think about it, when you read the article, uh, if you do read the article, like they explain should, why. I think, yeah. Um, and you definitely should. You should always mm-hmm. understand where they're coming from. But like. It, it makes sense. It's just one of yeah. those cards that I wasn't really... It wasn't necessarily on my radar uh, no, when, mine, mine when the announcement was made. And mm-hmm. so, like, it, I needed that justification. Yeah. And they gave it, but, you know. Yeah. Um, I figured something out of Mono Green would go. I thought... Yeah. Uh, I was honestly worried that Nykthos was out. I kind of was, too, though. They, again, if you read the article, they state they're actually excited about Nykthos. Yeah. Uh, and they do plan to keep it, uh, assuming it doesn't break anything. Right. Um, they do plan to keep it in because that That's good. it allows for the different devotion decks. C- since it's not tied to a particular color, it still allows yeah. for a lot of awesome stuff. I respect and that. we see that cool. mono black devotion <laughs> is still uh, Mono black, mono blues strong. being played. It got a bunch yeah. of five O's. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I'm... I was worried, but that makes sense that they didn't touch it. Yes. Um, um, I, pr- I was pretty sure Leyline had to go. Um, yeah. <laughs> when I wrote my Pioneer article, I hadn't envisioned Modern Green being so strong. Yeah. Because everyone kind of writes off green as being, like, the Timmy color. Well, and I'll say this, too. I, like, the Leylines are good at very particular things, usually. And so okay. I just wasn't, when they uh, first announced Pioneer, mm-hmm. uh, having not looked at deck lists, <laughs> nobody had brewed with it yet. Like, it was literally just... <laughs> announced i wasn't yeah. thinking well the ley lines are the first place i'm gonna go to make a deck like you know what i mean like i mean yeah generally you know ley line of sanctity mm-hmm. that's sideboard only because it just gives you hex i mean aren't all of them basically most of them that's what they usually are yeah. but then this one comes in and it's just like i'm gonna take over and it's like yeah. all right cool <laughs> like, <laughs> well it is such such a strong card is it the is thing. a strong card yeah um that like it just it makes sense, and I didn't think about it either. But yeah. of any of the ley lines, oh, it's the you one. Know. Yeah. yeah, I yeah, mean, yeah. no doubt. Of um, any enchantment, <clears throat> honestly, it's busted. Like, yes, I think on I top agree of with it, that. if it was just here's a question, here's yeah. a thought question, uh, it being a free spell, does that break it in and of itself? If it was just four mana as an enchantment, not a ley line, do you think it's still in? Yes, 
I would think it definitely has a much stronger position, or it has a stronger take to have stayed in. I will say because the the problem with it is that you play that, you play a mana dork, and then all of a sudden you can play. You can only tap two mana for your you know serpent or whatever you're playing. Yeah, and it's above curve now because right. it's for two mana you're getting a three three or whatever. You know what I mean? So like you're you're jumping the stat gun basically. Uh, when it comes to that kind of thing if you're playing it at four that takes a turn off takes a very crucial turn off mm -hmm. as we're seeing in pioneer because it's a much faster <clears throat> format than i took i took it to be okay uh, i will say and so i think that turn four is a very crucial turn in this this format and to take that turn off to just play that enchantment i think feels bad Granted, you can turbo it out. I was going to say, yeah, I don't get think Lanamar you... get Llanowar Elves and yeah. that kind of stuff. So, like, there are uh, certainly ways to get it out early. Definitely. But you, that still is, like, that still has to be a turn, a uh, play during one of your early turns that you're taking off just to play that. And I feel like that makes it a lot worse. Hmm. Yeah, I do think okay. also the fact that we have the London Mulligan rule makes it way better right that could have been that's another point too, uh, i think that's that, a really yeah. interesting thing to think about if we didn't have the london mulligan rule how great would this deck yeah. be because i don't know i mean it's a very good card mm -hmm. but mulling down to it is a lot easier when you have the london mulligan rule than, definitely you know what i mean so yeah, for sure maybe it wouldn't be quite as quite as powerful if that wasn't the case as well it's a good point um, um yeah I, I just thought of that that i didn't i don't yeah, know I, don't, if... I mean that's just my first thoughts on it because i wasn't really thinking about it either but i do i do think it still gets banned though i'm gonna be honest um i think that that power on board gives you so much mm. uh in terms of just a stranglehold on the game like you roll if okay if green didn't have uh if you didn't have once upon a time mm -hmm. if you didn't have collecting company mm -hmm. i think it's probably okay but since you get to essentially get it out on turn four but mm -hmm. we'll say like honestly turn three yeah you safely know? you could get it turn three if, as you, long as it's in your opening you could get it turn three green. and still push for a two drop in yeah. green yeah if you can if you use if you like have two mana doors and leave one open you know yeah. you can push for yeah, two yeah. drop that way or activate nick those yeah well but the the thing is though like so say perfect scenario right you play a mana dork turn one yeah play land you play a mana dork turn two mm -hmm. i take it yeah uh you, that still gives you i guess an extra mana so right. you would be able to get and then if you play but then that's cards in your hand like then unless you it's get into an inch well unless it's one that's a good point and then you get your giant it's a perfect fatty. storm man and then imagine <laughs> if does once upon a time net you get you planeswalkers or just creatures and lands creatures and lands if i'm okay. not mistaken okay that's a little better but yeah, but it, it's still, I mean, in that deck, it's, that's, I mean, it's nuts. Yeah. You know, you're digging, you're digging essentially. I would be interested to see that difference though. I don't know a hundred percent. I, you're probably mm -hmm. right. I do think, it, you know, it probably would still need a banning, but yeah. like it does make it a lot worse. And I do think it is a significant amount worse. Um, I think you still get it out early, but mm -hmm. I think it's still enough that like, <clears throat> you know, it's a little, it's, you still get. Here's the thing. You still get to sweep so effectively with Polychronos. Yeah. And I mean, you generate so much mana. Uh, and Nyssa as well, getting to untap lands. Yeah. If you Nykthos into Nyssa, untap Nykthos. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Holy butts. Yeah. Good. Oh, my God, Batman. <laughs> Whatever you want to say. Yeah. It's it's stupid. I mean, it is stupid. There's no doubt. Uh, so I think it's I think it's probably just too powerful, no Maybe, matter yeah. how you slice it. I mean, fair um, enough. That pie is too strong. Get that pie out of here. <laughs> yeah, uh, get that pie out of there. But, uh, yeah. That's so anyway, the last banning uh, <laughs> that was announced. This one took me by surprise. Yeah, this one. Not that, uh, it's, <clears throat> not, that it's not a. It's a card. very bannable card. Um, so it's really interesting because this uh. came out, like, when we, when I texted you, mm -hmm. like, what are we talking about? Yeah. Um, that was, like. 20 minutes after i saw that they had announced this banning yeah and like i was like damn like that was good timing yeah, um that's great but <laughs> veil of summer is also <laughs> now banned in pioneer uh, uh, yeah. the seven dollar uncommon and standard yep. is yep. now a little bit cheaper uh, um doubt it well actually although... so i saw somebody post um 
on it was it was an article that i read and yeah. it wasn't on like channel fire but it was somewhere else but somebody had commented at the bottom they were like thanks wizards for letting me spend 36 dollars or whatever it was on oh, God. but i'm just thing. like come on that's on you at that point like <laughs> well here's the thing uh yeah, the time to buy into all the broken grain stuff, I think, is over yes. because its day is coming. <laughs> like, oh, God, it's yeah. Joffrey in the castle right now. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, Veil of Summer. <clears throat> I didn't think it was going to get banned right awful away. Awful card. But, I like, hate damn. Veil of Summer. All of those, like. <sighs> Anti one color or two yeah, color cards. All the hate cards from that cycle, like, don't I, make sense to me. Okay, so here's my only thing that I kind of like about them. Um, they're they make for really good sideboard cards but and that's what they're supposed to be and that that is what they're supposed to be um how the but, fuck is it main board <laughs> <laughs> why would you do that the only okay the only one that's main mortable is the green one that never happens yeah that never Two, happens it's now the best counter in magic <laughs> well in, 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 in yeah standard, i know in mean. standard uh, it's um, also the best cantrip right now in standard yeah uh like it just it just does a lot it for does one green so mana. much <laughs> for one green at instant speed. Yeah, it's Make it ridiculous. a sorcery. At least. I guess like it's kind of fucking useless. I get that. But like. <laughs> um, my only like cool thing. This is I'm off topic on Veil of Summer. I'm just on the fact that they're hate colored that hate cards. Uh, that's a very like callback to old no, like old choke. Man. I know. And like, I know. you know, all that stuff. I just I love that. I know. And I like Noxious Grasp, but I only like Noxious Grasp grasp because we have to have it right yeah, now we'll talk about it. i don't know a second yeah well, uh yeah i know i hate i hate veil of summer um yeah it's a it's a bitch yeah <laughs> not anymore well in, in pioneer in one format uh it's good enough to play in some modern decks though is the thing yeah like, no, it's you, it's pretty crazy good i guess you said it more but like the point it's too good yeah um <laughs> for instant speed one green mana but yeah no that's disgusting man it is just can't do that but it's gone in pioneer so that's good the bad man can't hurt you anymore (laughs) it's okay um he (laughs) can't uh yeah i don't have much to say about this other than it's a crazy good card and i'm kind of happy it's gone is it one of the because you can get to the most played cards do you think it's uh it's on goldfish no mtg goldfish oh is it i promise you i just found it the other day but i don't know where to go you can there, we go. Oh, there we go. Um, it's not. I mean, it's not on like the most played. Thank God. But uh, just from looking at it, yeah, you know the next card to be banned, probably. <laughs> but that's fine. We'll talk about that in a second. Um, uh, there. Well, there are a yeah. few. You can. Yeah, guess. there are a few. Uh, um, yeah. So uh, again, I don't have a lot to say about Veil of Summer. I think it's just good. It's gone. I think um, that is all right. It's. <laughs> It's like that scene uh, in a movie where there are, are, are a couple <laughs> monsters and like the hero breaks down the door and just like mows one of them down. Do, 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 do. And the other one like gets shot but runs away. And the hero's like, I'm going to get you. <laughs> <laughs> we fixed it in one format. There's one more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they need to take it out of standard, I think, too. Oh, standard. Oh, standard. Let me okay, s- hold on. Before we get there. All right. I have a lot to bitch yes, about. Yes, I know you standard. do. I'm going to let you just rant when we get there. But sure, I just want to sure, very sure. quickly run through some of the decks that we're seeing in Pioneer, other mm-hmm. than the ones we've already talked about. Yep. Um, but, okay, so Copycat's gone. Mono Green yep. Aggro is gone. Yep. Red Deck wins. Doing pretty well at 10%. Uh, Arclight mm-hmm. Phoenix I think everybody kind of expected that to be a deck. Yeah, um, this is like on my radar for the next in the next few cards to go is either yeah. ArcLight or like the Delve cards. Yes, um, I'm in the same boat. Um, like ArcLight is the one deck that gets to break them really real effectively. Hard. Yeah, yeah. Uh, nothing else is really casting a bunch of spells that those care about. Uh, Jeskai Ascendancy is also on this deck. Jeskai Ascendancy can eat my. Shirt. it's only two percent right um, it's not, it's not good enough it's not right. broken enough um, right now i think maybe water down the field a little bit and we'll see but yeah i think once th- once everything well, gets flushed out, out that's a better metaphor well, fuck it whatever you know. cook, um, it, cook food mono black aggro we did talk about uh we just touched on it i think that's an mm-hmm. interesting one uh golgari gruel aggro just tons of aggro decks so um, there's a really really and i can't stress this enough really cool gruel deck that uses that war pig that big old Oh yeah, yeah, red piggy. So it 
when he attacks, you get to put a creature down. Mm -hmm. So what you do is you put the champion of Ronos down, which says when you attack, exert it, and then you get to put another creature down. Oh, yeah. So yeah. the problem with the pig is that when you put it down, mm -hmm. that creature that you like play with the pig goes back to your hand. Yeah. But the champion of Ronos that doesn't have that flavor. Yeah. So you attack the pig. Champion comes out, exert. You put down Ulamog. You pick the champion up. <laughs> Do you see where I'm going with yes, this? Yes, I see where you're going with this. Ulamog stays around. Do you see where I'm going with this? Yes, I see where you're going with this. Uh, so that deck got a lot worse now. Do you know yeah. what cards that deck also played? No. Land of Abundance. Oh, uh, really? Because you, yeah, because you... Uh, I guess you search you, out everything. No, um, no, no. You, um, what's the word? You ramp up into the pig. Because hmm. uh, you get a bunch of fucking mana. Yeah. You play uh, Burning Tramus Aries. You get to play the pig early. Do you play Once Upon a Time in that deck? Yeah. Okay. Hell yes. Yeah. Hell yes, Kevin. You play Once Upon a Time in that deck. It's green. You and just it touched has creatures. me under the table as you said that. I need you to clarify for the audience. With my, <laughs> with, with my foot. Your foot touched my knee. <laughs> Thank <but> you. <laughs> it was still a little weird. Uh, um, yeah. <laughs> you derailed me. Uh, that's a really cool deck, though. Yeah, uh, yeah, cheat out Ulamog while throwing pigs at him seems that pretty is good. really cool. That seems um, pretty fun. Sultai control is the top control deck right now. Of course it is because you can't play any other control deck in Pioneer. Yeah. Well, we I'm talked about Grixis. Right, you cannot play it right now in Pioneer. Any spell based deck you yeah. cannot play in Pioneer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Uh, thanks to Fairy. Yep. I, uh, Kev, I want you to, to know. To put this into perspective, really quick though. Yeah, yeah. Thanks to Teferi, I'm guessing. 68% yeah. yep. of the meta is yep. just aggro decks. Yep. That's well, it. Yeah. Partially, I mean, okay. Partially thanks to Deferi, but also partially because they're just really good. They're just really good. They're I get solid. It. But it's also really hard to play control or just spells based mm -hmm. decks when yes. Teferi's around. He, I have an article bitching about Teferi in the work. I've been writing this for a few weeks, but we're I was going to say, it's been going on for a Here's long the fucking time. Thing. I've made about six decks that you can play once Teferi's banned. And so that's been a lot of the time. Yeah. I've just spent like deck crafting, brewing. Okay, but I'm going to need you to like put it out there. I am I need to get it out before Teferi's banned. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> hopefully Teferi's banned. Uh, yeah, I actually do hope Teferi's banned. Well, yeah, here's the thing. Like, if you're not playing blue-white, yeah. You want to play Grixis, like, okay, but you don't get to counter anything. That's fine. Grixis really won't. You know, mm -hmm. their hand destruction, their, like, remove stuff well, yeah, off the board. Yeah, you play a lot of, like, sorcery speed, I guess. Right, but the best removal that Blue-White has, Drown in the Lock, you can't play because of Teferi. It's instant speed. They'll just counter mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter. Uh, <laughs> it feels really bad yeah. when you want to play another sorcery like Thought Erasure or something. Yeah, that's uh, fair. So that's right out. Uh, most of the red stuff that Grixis wants is out, like a braid. Bye bye. See you later. Yeah. Peace. Um, I will say, <clears throat> my favorite, and this is the version that I wrote, I made a deck on. Uh, you'd probably like this. Uh, the Grixis control deck that I made isn't necessarily like a control deck, as it is a toolboxy creature deck. Here's what you do. You know, I'm a sucker for that kind of thing. Here's what you do. <laughs> you uh, you play a bunch of one mana spells. <clears throat> okay. okay. You play Thing in the Eyes. Okay. <laughs> you play Dreadhorde Arcanist. Okay. Uh, I'm toying around with um, Young Pyromancer that you probably might play that. Maybe side it in for the mirror or something. But yeah. So you have a bunch of one mana shit, right? Mm. Uh, do you want to cast Thoughts? He's a bunch of times. What about Fatal Punch? Because every Dreadhorde Arcanist, as you yeah, know, yeah, lets him pull him back. Oh, baby. And eventually, yeah, you flip Thing. Like, a lot of decks... Here's the thing. Thing in the Ice isn't great in this format, only because yeah. in other... Like, in Modern, you get to flip Thing in a turn in a lot of in a lot of scenarios. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's you easier like, to do. Yeah, you play it, and then sometimes on their end step, you can flip it. Yeah. And then wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. You have a giant Kraken. You just won the game. Um, Way to be there. Yeah. <laughs> congrats. Kraken <laughs> bolt done. Uh, but, like, you don't always do that in Pioneer. Yeah. Uh, yeah. However, uh, it's a lot easier to do if all your spells cost one to cast, and you can cast them from the graveyard. Yeah. Uh, so it, it, combat feels really good in this deck. I just want you <laughs> to know that. Because uh, you can... What happens is you have like stuff like Wild Slash, Lava Axe as well as one mana. Yeah. You can throw it in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you get to play a lot of things. Lava Axe, by the way, fuels Dreadhorde Darkness some more, because you can just mm -hmm. pitch a one mana spell to it. 
Uh, and then, you know, you have a guaranteed target the next combat phase. Yeah. Uh, it's very nice. Yeah. I'll say. Opt for a bunch of stuff. Yeah. Um, oh, I like that idea. It's delicious. That does sound like my kind of deck. Jace Burns Prodigy, for. obviously. Cause... I do not own a Jace Burns Prodigy. You yeah. think for all the motherfucking yeah. Magic Origin packs oh that I've God. opened up. In your life. Yeah. Well, okay. So... We cracked this was, a box yet of that? So this is the dumb thing about it? No. All so, right, there you go. <laughs> I know. But the thing is, when it came out, like I wasn't super invested yeah. in the game. I also just wasn't financially in the place where I could just buy boxes at that time. Sure. And so like, I was just like, eh, it's not that great. Like, yeah, Baby yeah. Jace is cool, but whatever. <laughs> okay. And now I'm just like, <laughs> fuck me for saying that. Yeah. Because like, he's amazing. And I mean, it's not just now. Like, he's been good. Right. He's I just, probably like, the, he's the best from, from like that cycle. It's God, like Jace, yeah. Nissa, then the others can just eat a dick. Yeah, like, basically. Whatever. They're, yeah, a lot of them are They're not great. They're fine. Um, Nissa's like, oh, yeah, it's okay. Um, yeah, anyway, Nissa was good in standard. In standard, very yeah, good. Yeah, she was but great like, standard. I just mean, you know. Uh, regardless, yeah. though. I am kind of kicking myself for that, but I will say I've opened up a shit ton of Magic Origin packs mm -hmm. out of the 334 Cracker packs <laughs> that we have recorded. Yeah. Never gotten a Jace. I'm just a little bitter about Interesting. it. Interesting. Interesting. Well, As, when that day comes, I'm going to be super stoked. Um, good. Good. We were talking about Pioneer, right? Yeah, but we were going to move off of that pretty soon. I'm going to talk about Teferi a little bit more. Oh, okay. If you're ready thing. for it. Um, Teferi and like Blue White in general. Uh, and why uh, Dig Through Time or Approach needs to get banned. Oh, okay. Because uh, that combo is stupid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, You never got to interact before. Yeah. Approach and Dig. And thank God for that. Because <laughs> uh, you cast Approach, <laughs> then you delve for Dig Through Time, and then you draw Approach again. <laughs> you can and Dig Who on their... Who would have thought that would be good? Dig on their end step. Does that seem pretty good? So here's the deck I made for that. Dig just needs to go away. Uh, oh, yes, sorry. it does. But before that, you should play this deck, kids. <laughs> uh, so you have a bunch of Feya wishes, right? Oh, Your yeah, sideboard yeah. is just a bunch of one ofs. It's any answer you need. Uh, the deck is like 11 counters. Uh, <laughs> Jesus. Four, uh, what's the big? Supreme Verdict. Four Supreme Verdict. Yeah. Couple cast outs. No, I'm sorry. I took those out for D Sphere because um, it's like one mana cheaper. Um, and the mana base is strong enough that you can play pretty consistently. Yes. Um, so it's a bunch of that. Uh, you have your, uh, your big fatty fat caster, uh, <laughs> just in case yeah. as a three of, yeah. uh, four of Faye wishes. Uh, now this is without Teferi time raveler. That's little Teferi. Yeah. Yes. Here of Domineer is the fat one. Yep. Um, so this is without that card because yep. let's just make it and assume it doesn't <laughs> get banned. Or assume it does get banned, rather. <laughs> uh, so instead, uh, Jace Architect took its place just to have like... Uh, some card stuff, yeah. I mean, yeah, it's it helps you get to your get to your things a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you just minus two them and get to your stuff. Sure. Uh, but I mean, the big win is <laughs> you have a bunch of like counters to control it, ops to get there. Uh you have your cycle counters and your hieroglyphic illumination just to fill your mm -hmm. yard. You also have a second copy of uh, Approach of the Second Sun in your sideboard. So, so you cast it off Faye. You effectively have five draws of Approach. <laughs> so you have one main board Approach, just in case. Yeah. Uh, and then you have your four Faye's. Yeah. And then your Approach in the sideboard. Yeah. So potentially you can get to your two Approaches. Like Yeah, I was going right to say pretty away. easily. Right away. Yeah. Yeah. And that Fave Wishes is really good. Yeah, I, just, I like Fave Wishes I, a lot. I really like Fave. Yeah. There's so much cool stuff to put in your sideboard with that. Yeah, absolutely. I, and I love that it goes to your hand and not isn't instantly <clears throat> casted. That might sound kind of counterintuitive, but then you can get stuff like Sphinx's Rev and it's still online. Oh, that's a good point. Yeah, it does work well with X spells. Yes. There's a couple yes, of yes, like yes. pull from sideboard stuff right now, right? Because there's Karn, Karn. there's Fave, there's the. Uh, the two and two black uh for a tutor masterminds inquisition yes thank you wow that's backwards um <laughs> but like there's a couple of those kinds of things that let you pull from sideboard which does lend itself well to toolbox stuff yeah. or just wins like approach but yeah uh that's kind of cool i yeah. hadn't really thought too much about that yeah I that like um that's probably my favorite one yeah i think 
blue white blue black's just mean <laughs> we'll talk about it yeah it's all in the article but those those are two decks i thought you'd like a lot yeah uh you only get to play them if the fairy's out all right well um, look wizards because i know you're listening dear wizard dear mark dear mark mr rose um okay. i'm gonna need you to get that shit out of there <laughs> yeah please seriously though get that shit out of there do I don't... you what do you want them to do like preemptively fix pioneer or fix standard for everybody no i don't care about standard <laughs> fix pioneer. is it too go- is it too late for standard do you know their standard dro- is fucked right this second they are dropping like... standard from like from tournaments what so when d- was this announced i didn't hear not about wizards it. but like oh you know your scg your oh, uh, yeah, yeah. like nerd rage games your so uh, tournament organizers that put on technically wizard sanctioned event so you get points for playing in these. yeah yeah uh there was a um uh i think it was nerd rage games uh this is coming from ntg goldfish uh they like broke news about this a while ago uh they ran a standard event and they do like every like a few every quarter i mm-hmm. think um and this is like one of their bigger ones they usually have a couple hundred participants they didn't have <laughs> i want you to guess give me a low low number but honestly that you think how many people signed up for this standard season signed up and mm-hmm. what was the what would they normally get like it's upwards of 200 so it's a good amount of people the 50 that is a great guess they had two people signed up <laughs> oh my god yeah. are you serious i am as a heart attack my friend <laughs> holy shit so they said they like made an announcement they were like um <laughs> we're not gonna have a standard tournament <laughs> Uh, and then <laughs> the, the one person goes up. Do you think we made topics? <laughs> <laughs> uh, they're like their fans, their, their community was like, that's fine. Can we play pioneer instead? And they were like, yeah, let's do that. Dude. Pioneer so is like, it is saving magic. Right it is now. right now. Well, I don't okay. want to sound like doom. No, theorist, no, no, no. Honestly. I mean, we were like, there was a lot of talk. I, I would say about a year ago, but I don't know exactly. <clears throat> That's kind of a guesstimate. Okay. That like numbers at tournaments, there was speculation that Wizards was saying it was going up, but then actual attendance was proving it was not going up. It was going down. Oh, really? And it was a lot that. of like standard stuff. That makes and sense. I'm like, eh, it kind of makes sense. That makes and sense. And right now, standard has been nobody fucking wants to play standard. Oh, I'm sorry. Do you mean Elks? Yeah. You don't want to play Elks? Fuck You don't want to play free three Okay, elks? so I just want to point out, yeah. we started the What's My Name game again. Okay. Every mother fucking time. The three three second elk. time. Yes, every time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, God, come on. Yeah. It's so annoying. I can't wait for them, <laughs> if they're at all smart, to ban that motherfucker. So then I can be like, not anymore, <laughs> motherfucker. It is not a 3 3 elk. <laughs> not in my format. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Uh, can we talk about that? Let's bring it. Let's go. So, all shit. right. <laughs> um, green in general, everybody. Yeah. The title of this podcast episode needs to be It's Pretty Easy Being Green. Um, I'm in. Let's so, they have the best planeswalker. The in, blessed planeswalker. Did I say blessed? I don't the know. Best. It kind of sounded The best like blessed it. bastard planeswalker. Okay. <laughs> they have the best uh, counter in Veil of Summer. Yeah. They have the best, like, card draw in uh, Once Upon a Time. Yep. They're blue. Yep. It's blue. Green is blue. Green became blue. Yep. Uh, how does it feel? Oh, sorry. They also have the best creatures. <laughs> yeah. No matter how you slice it, they have the best flyer. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Hydrate Crisis. They have the best beater on ground in uh, any of them. Yep. Um, they have the best removal, sorry, in Wicked Wolf. I forgot about that. Oh, yeah. R- Wicked Wolf is Wicked very, Wolf very c- good. turns into a 4-4 indestructible fucking <laughs> monster. <laughs> Uh-huh. If you played a goose, turn one. Hawk, <laughs> motherfucker! You lost! Standard. <laughs> Standard is awful. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> this is a fun episode. Um, yeah. If you want to play any other deck in Standard other than Simic Food, you're wrong. <laughs> um, you can't. I'm sorry. You can't. You're not allowed. Yeah. Oko said no. <laughs> What I don't understand is I looked at, um, so stats from like the latest Mythic Championship or whatever, Mm -hmm. and uh, they tallied up, somebody tallied up the amount of decks that had Oko. Okay. It was 69% of the meta. Nice. But what I, this is like a little side joke in my mind, what I don't understand Mm -hmm. 
he tallied up the deck archetypes like throughout the whole thing okay there was simic food yeah was number one okay number three was bant food mm-hmm. number two was also simic food like i don't understand they were both simic food and i'm like that's not well so that's very clearly i mean i get there are two different simic food deck like yeah. i get it but it's the same I wonder, archetype i wonder like, if it's supposed to be here's the thing and uh again this is in the article um hey the that one that you guys will never read. Probably. Because uh, we're going to ban everything out before it's a problem. Uh, so there's like Sultai control, Sultai food, yeah, which plays some other cute stuff, a.k.a. Yeah. only Noxious Grasp. Yeah, yeah. I was going to say. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, the uh, fucking Sultai <laughs> control deck is only black for Noxious Grasp. Why? Why, Kevin, would it be black for Noxious Grasp? Because uh, it was good. Because you have to kill Oko <laughs> somehow. <laughs> oh yeah, oh, that's a good point. <laughs> there's, there's only one. If you all right, if you're not gonna steal their Oko, yeah, you have to kill it. Yeah, so it's black for noxious grasp. So that you makes sense. you main board a sideboard hate card <laughs> to kill the same card that runs your deck. <laughs> What's that tell you about the format right now? Yeah, it's real unhealthy it's right now. It's awful. It's bad. It's off. And fuck, forget brawl, dude. Yeah, they magic Oko online. And brawl. Cool way to be there. Like, why would and not standard? <laughs> uh, Have you no shame, Wizards of the Coast? I, if they don't ban Oko, this I'm I'm telling you right now, this is the worst standard I remember. In like, um, yeah, I I'm, I can't. I'm think trying of a to worse find one. one to compare it to. I mean, Thero's standard was bad, but I don't think it was this bad. No, because you could at least play a couple. Because you were either, there was a couple devotion decks. You were either going to lose to Whipping Obsidat, and yeah. he was going to sneak in and kill you a bunch. Yeah. Uh, you were going to lose to Gary. Yeah. Uh, you were going to lose to a bunch of white weenies. Yeah. Uh, Elspeth for Esper Control, or a bunch <laughs> of blue cards. Yeah, that's five ways to lose. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just looking at one, <laughs> and it's uh, a goddamn elk. <laughs> yeah. Oh, but surprise! It was my thing. <laughs> now it ain't. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Oko needs to get gone. So there I'm are tired of Oko. there are a couple cards that can leave standard, and I think you'd fix it. Uh, you take out uh, Oko. Yeah. Kill the goose. Yes. And Bale of Summer. Yeah. Now, does that kill green decks? Yeah. <laughs> Basically, like they don't have another one drop. Honestly, like what's wor- a Boreal Grit? Nah, you don't play that. Land War Elves. Is that even? In? Oh no, it's not anymore. I'm sorry. No, no you're fine. That rotated out. So, I think yeah, you, ha- you right. have to keep Goose, but the Goose Wicked Wolf synergy is. I'm. I can't stress how strong that is. Yeah, it's that's really very bad. good. Um, so if you want to leave that in, okay, you at least give other decks like a fighting chance at that point. Mm-hmm. Um, but you've crush other planeswalkers honestly yeah so you play wicked wolf eat their big thing uh and like then you get to attack their planeswalker next turn yeah. it's possible yeah um or you play like a wicked wolf uh the turn after your questing beast to clear the way to kill their planeswalker like yeah. there's a bunch of different ways yeah, yeah, yeah. like no other planeswalker is safe with like food in the meta. no like wicked wolf in the meta. Yeah, yeah. really that is uh so Green, they built green to be really, really tough. Yeah. Um, I don't think you should ban Wicked Wolf. I think it's a great card. I think Wicked Wolf on its own is fine. It is a great right. card. The but... synergies make it really freaking busted. Yeah. But I think it's if you take it out, green is missing any removal really. Yeah. So uh, yeah. green creature based decks get a lot, like a no, lot right. worse. You know. You're absolutely right. Um. So. I guess you're kind of you're kind of stuck keeping the goose in because that's like the best turn one a green deck can have. Yeah, um, I can't think of another one that no, wants to do. There's not a better one that um, wants to do the stuff green does. But uh, I'm trying to think like what other. I mean, you're right, our boil grazer, but that's so bad in comparison. Um, yeah. Well, now that Field of the Dead is out. Yeah. There's honestly, no point. <laughs> we're here because of Field of the Dead. You yeah, know? you're right. Because uh, it honestly kept uh my green in control yeah like, it did but uh god damn it's just so bad right now yeah <laughs> like, it's not fun i saw on reddit someone made this flow chart of uh wizards of the coast like play test decision making <laughs> uh i'll have to find it. it was something like 
uh, starts at banned problem card. Um, did standard format get worse? If yes, uh, <laughs> apologize to the community. Uh, then our pack sales decreasing. <laughs> if no, uh, ban another broken card and pretend the first one never happened. If yes, ban the other problem card. And then it like loops uh, back around at the beginning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like it's just never ending. Yeah. So until like until I don't make money off standard stuff. Yeah. Like we're gonna. I hate to say it, but how many standard seasons have just been utterly. Yeah, they've fucked. not been great lately. Honestly, like, the uh, Ixalan standard was, like, the healthiest we had in a while. In a while, yeah, I would certainly agree. You know, I think. I we mean, had a couple a couple decks there. Yeah, at least. Oh. It's time for me to write my journal. <laughs> I'll do that later. <laughs> that was cute. Thank you. You're so zen. Um, Thank you. <clears throat> yeah. I need to be after... <laughs> The magic. <laughs> They're fucking Oko. Honestly. Um, yeah. <clears throat> Regardless, you're right. Standard is in a terrible Standard place in, right now. Standard is in shambles. We're going to need to fix that. Uh, yeah, you just ban Oko. Kill him. It just sucks because, like, the long-term issue here is that the only way they're able to seemingly make a, and <clears throat> I'll say temporary good standard, yeah. because it seems to always hit a shithole again, is to continuously continue like just ban a bunch of cards and it's like i get it if that's what solves the issue that's fine but then you're play testing that like how do you not how do you not see this coming in play testing i don't know how they didn't build that deck you're right that's my thing like yeah your job you were hired as a play tester and you missed it either that or you knew it was coming in which case you're just a dick. Like yeah. I don't. <laughs> well, honestly, it, it has to be the former because Mario said in another podcast mm -hmm. uh, that Throne has basically been in production for ten years in like yeah, piecemeal, yeah, yeah. Uh, not like Throne of Eldraine starting in like 2010 and then like like make it like pieces of it have been coming together. Yeah, for ten years. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but like these ideas have been around. Yeah, you know what I mean. Um, this other like resource mm -hmm. concept has been around in magic we had clues yeah had treasures like yeah. that thing has been around honestly food might ruin that um it's so good yeah i think I, if if there's a resource that you as an opposing player don't get to interact with mm -hmm. think about it even if you trade a one for one they play gilded goose yeah wham gilded goose is down make a food yeah even if i fatal push that goose I'm still like you're still down on that like half a card yeah. down essentially because yeah, yeah. now they have they can gain three life or they can sack it and do some stuff and they, I'll say too yeah the food mechanic makes for limited gameplay it's awful I hate I hate draft right now unless you're playing the goose yeah well it's just so frustrating because it's just yeah. like never ending gain three life the game right. never ends yeah so it's either you mill them out which is the popular <laughs> opinion well, it works. It works. <laughs> or you have to just like consider yourself like, okay, I'm going to start this draft. Yeah. Normally, maybe takes hour, maybe a little more than an hour to get through a full like arena draft, yeah, 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 right? Yeah, a full, yeah. Cool. You're going to need like three because yep. otherwise <laughs> like you don't have enough time. It just takes forever. And it makes it's for tough. not very fun gameplay because it's <clears throat> all down to top decks. It's yeah. like who can drain all the food first and get the coolest card off the top of their deck. Mm -hmm. Like that's what it takes. And it's, that's not fun. It makes for a very yeah. not fun draft environment in my opinion. And I might, you know, I get it. Some people like the longer game. That's cool. I don't in yeah. this case. Also, I mean, so Throne Limited, I I like a lot. Okay. Um, I don't, but... Just, I mean... I like Mill, but you that's would. just because I like Mill. You like, would. that's not... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, there are... I don't know how to explain it. Um, it's just a very... It, to me, it's a really interesting limited, like, mm. archetype. Or limited, limited format, limited season, whatever you want to call Environment. it. Yeah, thank yeah. you. Um, I don't know. It's the first. It's the first time for me that like blue's not good, just kind of automatically. Yeah. yeah. Um, well, except, it is if you're in mill, but uh, uh, all right. Except for I guess like the mono deck is pretty good, like the mm -hmm. monocolor blue deck. Mm -hmm. But so okay, so in limited normally we get <coughs> we get 
10 uh, deck paths, essentially. Yeah, because so, you normally get two color gold. Ten, and yeah, 10 two color combos yeah, and stuff yeah. like that. Um, but we really get 15 deck types because the monocolors are supported in this. You yeah. get like the adamant stuff. Yeah. yeah. There's the hybrid mana in a few in a few colors that might like, get to play some things. Mm -hmm. So there's more options. Um, there's more options in building your deck as well. Sure. Uh, the knights theme is so open in a bunch of the different knights ways. The knights theme, I will say, is really interesting. I think it's but really I cool. find myself never really getting there, and I don't know that. I'll say on my end, that could just me not drafting correctly. You know what I mean? So I don't, I can't blame that on here's, the format. Here's but. the thing with that. Um, the different colors of the knights you draft really determine what the deck wants to do. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. So the, like, green anything knights. Yeah. Uh, the best card for that deck is a shitty magic card, <laughs> and I love it. It's that <laughs> three one that says sack of food uh i'll fight a guy oh yeah yeah. you know what i'm saying yeah uh no one ever drafts it because it's a bad magic card. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a three one for two i think that says that yeah uh but if you get to play it and then stick the that lance on it mm -hmm. that crazy equipment uh it just gets we're donk I'm oh yeah this. no absolutely it becomes a removal spell and a beat <clears throat> right there yeah it's cool uh all all this to say i can get in the weeds with this but to me thrones limited is really open um but it's a high skill cap higher than other limited formats that i've seen i'll definitely agree with that i um so for I, i've been drafting a lot of throne uh mm -hmm. rank draft on arena okay it's best of ones so i'm not sideboarding or anything yeah. but i'm doing the the rank side of it and i'm enjoying it when it works but i do find it a lot harder to make this stuff i work. have lost a lot of matches um because of food i'll say yes that. that's like, that's and i i think that's just my frustration because i went back uh because they threw up war of the spark ranked again mm -hmm. um and i went back to that and i drafted it the first two times i went through a rank draft with war of the spark first one undefeated seven and oh second one seven and one and i'm just like this is so much easier why is this so much easier it's different though it is different and i and that's fine like i'm not I'm not butthurt about it being different. Mm -hmm. I think my frustration is just that, like, it's really, really hard because I tried to draft aggro first. Mm -hmm. That's, like, the safe point usually. Yeah. I tried to draft aggro. Granted, I was using methodologies that I would use in other sets, like sure. basic openness of, you know, this is a very clear aggro card. I'm going to take that. Sure. And I found that to work very occasionally but most of the time not because mm -hmm. of things like food where it elongates the game it's like okay well eventually they're just going to play a bigger thing and then it's like well can't do too much about it because i'm the small aggro deck you know what i mean okay and then i tried mm -hmm. to do jump into a little bit more of the like defined strategies so i've done the adamant i've done a lot of the two color combinations that are supported okay um and when they work it's very rewarding yes that's, that's it's a great that's a really a good team. feeling i find it I, I and i think this is just a skill cap thing but i find it much much harder to make them work efficiently okay in a in a in an environment where there's always that like i have life gain buffer um mm -hmm. and that's i think my frustration with the format that's fair um I can't be mad that I just draft badly. Like that's on me. You know what I mean? Sure. I, but I, see I don't like the that. life game buffer always because any deck ends up with a little bit of food and that's sometimes enough, depending on the deck you drafted, that can be enough to keep them in the game to where they just get a better top deck than you. And then they win. It, and it's like, okay, it, but it can, um, <clears throat> the, so your pump spells are really kind of key. Yeah. To fixing that problem. Well, adventures um, are amazing. Adventures I are like the saving grace of this limited. I think yes. with like Sans Adventures, the limited format's awful. It would be really bad. Yes. Uh, but in saying that, having these adventures, I think, turns the format into a very solid, like, mm. fleshed out limited format. Um, it checks a lot of stuff. It does. So the adventures are really efficient spells now that yeah. just have like a cool creature tacked on like queen of ice yeah that card's huh. sweet excellent yeah i'll great put her in, three drop yeah i'll put her in any deck that has blue i don't care what yeah, the fuck no, i'm trying fine. to draft it's just a good tempo play it's amazing uh i mean the sorcery on its own is like cheap enough that mm -hmm. i play that it's frost breath but for one less yeah and then her is a two three frost length 
frost length. Well, it's not even frost length. It's it's Is when it, it deals damage. Worse? Yeah, I think so because it's when it deals damage to right. something, and so a lot of times, at least I've found myself in a position where there's just a very clearly stronger creature on the field that sure. like I'm in a position where I can't take too much damage. So I'll block with the Queen of Ice, tap yeah. it down for an extra turn, you know what I mean? And it's still mm -hmm. good, but I do think it's kind of significantly worse than Frost Links. Links. Yeah, yeah. I can There are situations where it, the ceiling is higher, because if they just have a bunch of like little dudes, you can mm -hmm. kind of get away with some stuff, but n that tends not to be the case, I will well, say, yeah, in my it experience. Does, it hoses pretty much anything running white. <clears throat> oh, uh, yeah. Red decks kind of reach over it pretty quickly. Yeah. Um, red is really powerful. Red-blue is very fun. When uh, it works, yeah. that's one of those that I've found to be fairly difficult to get working. But if you do, yeah. the this again, the ceiling for that is very high because if you get that little two mana enchantment that spits out little fairies, it's just like cool. I'm just always gonna have blockers, dude. Like yeah. you do whatever you want. The problem with that deck, which I think is an interesting check, mm -hmm. uh, is the mill deck because the whole point of that deck is you're drawing extra cards meaning you have way less cards in your library. Oh, yeah. And so that just kind of boosts up the, the value of that mill deck, which is already, I think, fairly good and limited. It's well, very... it's the mill deck in particular, I think, draws its strength from a lot of its... A lot of the important cards are common. <clears throat> yeah. One. Uh, two, it's very defensive. Mm -hmm. uh, in... <clears throat> excuse me. In a uh, format that like encourages aggro mm -hmm. more often than not mm -hmm. uh it's like it is super held back yeah it is held back so for sure well i guess keeps this like win pretty close yeah. Um, yeah yeah so it's just strong in every like at every point in the game it's pretty good we have a dog coming in and it's exciting <laughs> so it's a little baby. hi caitlin how are you hi. Hey, baby. <laughs> so lou no you're fine she you're fine hello lou That's you guys can't see this dog but she's a sweetheart she's just super loud no she's great no she's, she's a sweetie though. she stays or i go she does yeah all right she loves you all right um, um anyway yes right all this to say throne of eldraine limited skill cap definitely higher it's when it's, things it's work it's fun yeah, but yeah. it is very frustrating i find it very I frustrating can, i can understand the frustration um, uh, and I 100% will say it's partially <clears throat> my fault for not being as good a drafter. Well, no, I did get hosed a few games playing food, and I get that that's like it's awful. just one of those things where like you feel like you have a really strong deck, and then it's yeah. just like nope, <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't. Here's a just biscuit. Kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I have crackers, you lose. <laughs> that yeah, whole exactly. Thing. I get it. Um, uh, but that, you know. all that being said, I would rather lose a hundred times to like well drafted decks sure. than lose to. Uh, a really dorky. food again <laughs> <laughs> i yeah i want to yeah. punch echo in the face yeah yeah, yeah. and the okay is a little just the brat dude the dick just right on that right on that little stripper dick that he's got what a lot of people when his art was foiled they were like oh cool magic has a stripper oh now. well okay that's all i was referencing but like that's how very can we say obscure. magic now is when like the Rakdos characters have been oh, around no, forever. <laughs> like, like that blood witch lady <laughs> who's wearing just like a corset with spikes. <laughs> what? Really? <laughs> and Oko's the problem? Yeah. Oko's cause... more than a piece of meat. He's also <laughs> a 3 3 L. So <laughs> like, Oh man. Anyway, anyway, yeah. Oko, all of this is going back to the fact that Oko's in a bitch final needs summation. To go away. Green is mean. Uh green is mean. And we need to fix standard. <laughs> yep. There you go. Problem solving by it resolves. <laughs> Way to be there, guys. We are far from the first to say that. <laughs> but we were I the... fully expect it. Yeah. Oka will be banned. Yeah. Far I think from that's the first, but we, ha we are the last. Yeah. Uh, yeah, the 18th is when their next BNR yes. for standard comes out. If Oka out. is not on that list, somebody at Wizards is getting... Oh, fuck. I quit standard forever. We yeah, are, I'm if out. The 18th, if Oka's not banned, we're a pioneer podcast. Congratulations. <laughs> we made it. All right, yeah. guys. Uh, anything else? regarding standard bands nah, anything like I that i won't talk n none of none about standard we rambled a good bit on this i won't one, talk nothing about fun. standard what was the name for the episode by the way uh man? it's pretty easy being green all right cool because it is <laughs> all right i'm in uh solid well we get to finish out the episode with our crack -a pack sponsored by grand slam <sighs> comics and collectibles truly right. a great group of people their facebook group is in the description please please go follow yeah. them they'd be awesome do we have cards that we were looking for Something that kills Oko. 
Something that kills Oko. Surprise, there's nothing Out in thrown. Out of just spite, I'm going to say Oko is my goal. Oh, I got a great one. I got an okay one. Yeah. Oh, so this is actually a pretty good pack, though, in general. Uh, This is pretty good as well. What's what's your rare? Uh, Vantress Gargoyle. So oh, cool. Automagically, that's the, uh, you know. Yeah, that's a good one. What adventures do we have? I did not get a single one. Did you not? No. <laughs> did I? Which is fine. Uh, I got a really key card for adventures. Um, okay, so I got Fabro Elder. I played this card. I I'm not sold too. on this card. I'm not either. Um, um, I think it's. I think it's fine. Not amazing. It's no. I honestly think Green White Adventures is one of the weaker archetypes. Yeah. Um, it just. Well, this isn't good unless it's like got enough counters on it. I mean, the ramp is good, but it's, like it's it's just me. It's okay. Uh, you really need to get a lot of like of the adventure payoffs. Yeah. Um, to me. So my uncommons are actually all really good. I would say. Oh, Lucky Clover's awesome. Yeah, Lucky Clover is Shit. one of the cards that make yeah. the adventure deck very very good. Uh, Steel Claw Lance exceptionally strong with knights. Uh, absolutely a fantastic card. Yeah. And then Red Cap Melee is just like, I'm gonna burn anything and everything. It's not a great card, I don't think. I um, don't. I don't like the Sacrifice Land in Limited. That's right. a pretty that big one, setback. It's pretty painful. Um, the good thing, these games do tend to go long, so late in the game, it's like not a huge bad thing to have to sacrifice a land. But yeah. I do kind of think it's between Lucky Clover and Steel Claw Lance. It's pretty hard to pick for me, but I think I might go Lucky Clover. Okay. Um, that opens that keeps me open enough into the either the adventure deck or the um, the mill deck because the, a lot of that's based on adventure. Um, and I, I don't know. I, I think I feel like that's a, a better pick there. Uh, I'm not opposed to that, but <clears throat> I still love the lance. Don't get me wrong. That no, card no, is broken. Yeah. The lance makes red. Uh, red black knights kind of go yeah um 100 so this is kind of the like one of the cards i lost a tempting witch really i yeah so i am getting mixed reviews on this card i will say it is good when you have a good food engine that's the key <laughs> without it it kind of makes your food a little worse although yeah losing three pretty much regularly is not fun no it's not fun uh it's a bit it can like spin the game out of control in a yeah. big way um this is the card that breaks that other the card i was talking about Rose oh, yeah, Halberd. yeah yeah um because you can just equip it to a non-creature for one yep wham bam put it on that elf <laughs> hit your opponent in the face or <laughs> what what's really cool is if so uh, turn two, what's his ass? Turn three, Rose Thorn <laughs> Halberd, another what's his ass. Ah. Uh, if you have a food, sack it to the first one that's not pumped. Mm -hmm. um, it's going to kill some. It's got three power. <laughs> like, yeah, it's yeah you're right. Uh, dude, I'm telling you, it's fucking awful. <laughs> Gross. Um, I anyway. have, yeah. There are a lot of interactions that I've enjoyed, but overall, yes. it's just a not my favorite draft environment that's all that's okay um it's not for everybody i am getting burnt out on it yeah, but yeah that's yeah. okay it was actually kind of nice to go back to war of the spark a little bit just war because it was really fun War was a very very fun set i, I like it a lot um, uh, the, i loved being able to like do some planeswalker shenanigans mm -hmm. in the middle of everything like yeah. that was just really fun all those walkers felt so good Ob yeah and what i've found awesome. is uh at least we're on arena what i found is it's a lot of the War of the Spark winning a draft environment game is just, like, threat detection. It's like, okay, here's this Planeswalker. Mm -hmm. Obviously, it's going to be helping the opponent, or I can just attack the opponent, and, like, knowing when to do which is mm -hmm. very, very crucial when you're playing War of the Spark. Because I found, like, I had to I had to reevaluate my threats when I played one particular game where somebody had out like a Tabalt or something like that and was okay. spitting out one ones, but they were also pretty close to death. And I was just like, well, I'm just going to kill. Obviously I'm just going to go ahead and swing kill at him. them because fuck Tabalt. Like he's not gonna, he's not going to do enough to get to me. You know what I mean? Like count your turns and figure out how you're going to win. And it works. And so I was like, okay, good. That's the smart thing to do. And I just won like immediately. However, on the very next game, I had like a Obnixilis out or something like that. I was also down very significantly in life. 
not a huge board presence and someone just went straight for obnixilis even though like i i was very down on loyalty like i think if i used him once he was gonna die or something like that okay and so i was like why why would you attack up next like clearly that's not the threat you know what i mean so i think it's just a threat analysis set like it's all about a lot of it is about threat analysis for that one i'm with you managing the board is big yeah uh, how big is there a mass counter like yeah if i kill a thing does there a mask i get yeah. a lot worse yes yeah, no yeah. um i really like bounce is so good yes they're the two decks that I love <clears throat> from War of the Spark were the black red sack stuff deck. Mm-hmm. Sack little dudes That's deal, a fun do deck. some stuff. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, mm, so good. Gross deck. Uh, and then the just blue black control, like yeah. blue black amass stuff yeah, like yeah. that. Oh, that deck is sweet. <laughs> I had good luck with some like gruel aggro builds. Um, really, gruel? Yes, surprisingly. Uh, with uh, what's the the green red planeswalker that gives plus two plus one scry one and then haste samut yes is that um, right because domri yeah, does other stuff no, it is domri samut. makes the mana um actually i had very good luck with samut um huh. just because it like powers out so much stuff and fixes oh, that's the top the of your planeswalker deck. i think is fucking stupid yeah because i found out why it works out because this please actually came me. up please um, tell me because i i have no so idea. it gives your creatures haste yeah which is great and then it's its Keyword. ability also gives haste. Yes. And like it's it's loyalty ability, but mm-hmm. it also has the passive. Right. What I found was uh when you like if it ha- I, I don't know if it's a minus one or minus two. When you minus it when you kill Samut, mm-hmm. the haste still sticks on the creature because it gave it haste with that ability. But when Samut goes away, the haste, the haste from is, the passive. The passive goes ability away. is gone. And so that actually came up in a in a game. Um Yeah, it's situational, I'm just saying. It makes sense. Throw it on there. It worked. It won me the game. <laughs> That's all I, was, I went 7-0 and with that deck. <laughs> Fuck you for just going back and forth. Samut. Garbage. No. Not in limited. Garbage. No, not in limited. Only for that fucking passive. No, he was... I mean, Samut was good in a give lot of me, matchups. Then give me trample... As a well, plus, okay, as a minus would be ability. Amazing, but would that not be better? Haste and then like fuck it, minus three trample. I don't trample know. Trample would be better given more board states. Haste is better in a winning position. Trample's better in a winning position. No, because you get more damage in earlier if you can give him haste. I'm saying like if you're in How a winning, are you board in a winning position, position earlier. No, no what I'm saying better. is you can go for the win more. What I am saying is, yes. if you're in a board state okay. where they have very little and you have a lot, and you play Samut, yeah. you play a big bomb, uh-huh. you give it haste, and you swing in. That okay. means you're swinging for more damage overall because they don't have much to block with anyway. It, that's if you're in a winning position. If you give it trample, it does better in a situation where they have a lot of things on the board because they have to block more to like save themselves the damage. Either scenario is the same answer. No, I think <laughs> You're going haste through is better. For more. I think haste is better in that position. Absolutely, because you can. No, it just is. No, no, it's not. Will it's not. It is. Are I'm you telling kidding? you, it is. They still get to chump block stuff. Like, but you're you're getting in with more right. creatures at once, and they don't have anything. You're wrong. I don't. I just so. want you to know that I'm not. How many how many creatures are you playing that haste is so much better than fucking trampling? No, I'm just saying you're Here's getting a in with. Here's a scenario. Oh my god, why are we doing this? <laughs> You've got some. Give me a few chump blockers. They've got all right. Fuck it. They're uh. They've played. They got that two one reaver. Mm. You know, or is it a one two? I think it's a one two. Actually, I the remember. the. Uh, creature that's one black, one colorless. It spits out and a mass token. A mass one. Uh, is I, that a three two? No. Or am I thinking of something? I'm thinking of the blue one or some a uh, different one. Yeah. Now I'm talking about the. Oh, I do know what you're saying. The uh, it's one in a black. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know what you're talking. I can't. Makes I think it's a guy. one two. I think so. I think so. So they got the one two, and they, they have the, a, they the have the a mass token. guy. Yeah. They can have one more creature. It could be a two two. Fuck it. You're stomping them, right? What's mm. your board look like, Kev? What's your board look like? Give me... If uh, you're winning. If you're winning. If I'm winning? Yeah. Like, in your winning position. <laughs> <laughs> you 
such a dick. Uh, I'm just saying. Give me a 3 2, a 2 2, uh-huh. a 4 4, a masser. A 3 2, a 2 2, a 4 4, a masser. Who's your fellow you want to play? Another 4 4. Great. So they have three blockers. Mm-hmm. They're taking away three of your creatures. And they have collectively two, three. They have four toughness collectively. With haste, you're only doing four damage. If they have trample, you're doing, what we say, a four, four, a three, four. You're doing like Wait, are you... seven. Okay, this is all hinging on one really key thing. What? I thought the the minus was what we were talking about. That it was just giving one creature trample and one creature haste, not the passive... Uh, that's why i was thinking oh <laughs> uh, i think in that instance haste makes it because you can get in with more immediate I see do you see what saying. i'm saying no i mean your team <laughs> i'm saying trample's way better <laughs> trample's better as a passive ability yeah, yeah no i mean absolutely um no i get it i understand that now. that was a misunderstanding we oh, had this okay. whole argument because of <laughs> um hey okay Let's end this. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, oh, thank you uh, for watching, listening, whatever Will normally says at the beginning of these. Hopefully you enjoyed <laughs> this episode. That's, uh, yeah. But we're going to get out of here. Yeah. My name's Kevin. Um, I'm a 3-3 elk. <laughs> this has been It Resolves. What sound does an elk make? <laughs>